What's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been forever. I am back now with another body paint, Starfire. The last one I did that was so huge was Avatar. Here we are with my client Brooke and my assistant Sila. We are going to crush it. If you don't know Starfire, she is from the DC Comics. First thing that we did was cover up the body with Hollywood fashion secrets. That way there is no actual nudity on YouTube. Then we sketched out where the bathing suit is going to be. Now there's different versions of Starfire, different outfits that she has. I will go ahead and plug in the one here that we are doing, but we sketched it out with an eyeliner or a lip liner pencil, whatever you choose. I decided to start on the face while Silas started on the body. For the body, we are using Mayron's Paradise Paints and Mixing Medium for the actual pigment. For the face, I decided to use the MAC Paint Sticks. I don't like to use the Mayron Paradise Paints on the face, so I like to use cream base and set with powders. For the green on the eyes, I use James Charles Create Paints in the shade green. Um, I don't know the actual name, but that is what I used on the eyes. And then I went ahead and used for the actual pigments. It was the Blend Bunny Blends Palette. To set the under eyes, I'm using Peachy Queen's Palette Alien in that bright neon yellow shade in the T-zone area. And then I'm moving on to the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Blends Palette to set the rest of the face, contour the face, and create that beauty look just using all orange and yellows. For the body, we are covering all the areas that are not outlined in the purple with orange paradise paint and then on the areas that we are not doing orange we are going to be using a metallic mayron paradise paint in purple we are sectioning it out because of color theory so if you were to mix orange and purple together it's going to create like a really muggy brownish color and we don't want that we want all the colors to stay really nice and bright so you want to section that out individually and try your best not to overlap until it is 100 percent completely dry because if they mix together it's just going to be a hot mess as you can see also underneath the eyes i'm letting it sit so that way it could really soak in because the cream mac paints if you've ever used them it takes a little while to set in like a lot of powder and i really went in because i wanted the face to be really nice and pigmented and to stay the actual amount of time that it took to do this body paint was four hours obviously it is scaled down to nine minutes and 30 seconds but it did take four hours <laughs> and we have my girl candy who made the wig from scratch which you guys are about to see in a second and it is so long and beautiful bright fire red it's just absolutely stunning you can do this look in multiple ways you can use airbrush paints you can use the mayron paradise paints which is what we're using which is a like a pot and you pour some liquid into it and then you paint it on kind of like if you got your face painted at disneyland but with the mixing medium it makes it a little bit more waterproof or you can go ahead and do it with creams but then you're gonna have to just set with powders all over which i have done that before but we are using my tried and true mayron paradise paints so here you can see i'm going in with the metallic purple look at that reflection I actually didn't even know that they made this that they made the reflective one and as I was shopping and looking for the products I saw it and I'm like oh my god this will really make this whole character really pop and I'm loving the way that it reads we use the Hollywood fashion secrets as you can see it's like taped on her body we taped it over her boobs and over her bathing suit line um, and her bikini the bottom area and you can see that it paints right over so you have no problem with the pigment seeping through it literally just looks like skin I was really happy with the way that it it applied that the body paint applied over that tape so if you're looking for something for your client or for yourself to be able to wear out and not be naked but still be naked the Hollywood Fashion Secrets body contour tape is literally everything as you can see the brushes that we use I honestly just went to Michaels and bought a set of paint brushes I got round paint brushes the ones that are um, like round dome shaped and also flat round and flat square that way we just had options to be able to paint in different areas that we wanted i didn't want to use any really expensive brushes for body paint like this i just like to use those types of paint brushes you don't have to go all in i do have my expensive paint brushes or special effects brushes which is bedellium tools and they're really pricey but they're really good and they're great for any detailing work with alcohol based paint but these are water-based paints making them waterproof with the mixing medium so just your standard michael's paint brush brushes will be fine what I like to do when I am creating a character for a client I like to do my research so for instance Starfire I made sure first that I went to Google googled Starfire looked at all the different outfits that she had I showed my client 
which ones do you like? And then from there, I create a mood board and a vision for the hair, the body paint, the photography, the videography, and what's going to be the longevity of this wear if they are planning on going out in public to a Halloween party or any kind of party or wherever they're going just to make sure that it's going to have longevity. If you're just gonna do a photo shoot and that's it, then you can just use water-based paint and that be it. Here we have my girl Candy coming in with the wig. I mean, seriously, it literally just brought the entire look to a completely different level. Now you can actually see the character coming to life. Having the hair, the makeup, the body paint, every element matters when creating a character. Having the depth, the coloring, the placement, just everything. Everything is just so perfect when it all comes together. Once I have my vision and my client's approval, then I estimate how much time it is going to take. Everything goes faster when I have my assistant with me. It cuts the time in half and I love it and I will never be without my assistant ever again. <laughs> she is literally the best. Now we're going on to the next part. This is what's really going to bring this animated DC comic look to life that is outlining everything in black and adding in the detailing. And then I'll also be going in with white and sketching out different parts, different highlights of the outfit. There is no right or wrong way to do this. It's honestly whatever your creation is, whatever your desire is, whatever you want to do. It is art and art has no rules. And like I said, Starfire has so many different looks and you can create your own version of it as well. But this is the version we decided to go with. So now I'm just going through adding in all this final detailing to this entire look. Once we are done with this, we make sure that the whole area is cleaned up. And then my photographer and videographer, Remy, is going to crush it. I have photo reference ideas of the different poses that I want her to do. That way I can, after the photos are edited, I can do all the graphics which I do myself and put her into the world of DC comics and actually make her a comic book character so I will take my photos have the poses in line and have her do each and every single one of those poses so now here we are finishing off every little final detail mascara lashes lip setting spray everything making sure that she's fully dry and ready to go so that she can move around now you can see I'm just adding some final detailing with the white you can really start to tell that it's starting to give that comic book look in real life like actual pop art there's different styles of pop art with lines with dots it's just about making something look and Animated, and this is really going to help create that real life animated look for you. And then we're going to go ahead and sketch out some abs for her because why not? We're animated. We can do whatever we want to. And then here we have it, the final look, Starfire. Thank you to my team, Sila, Remy, Candy, and Brooke. <laughs> 